So today's quick tip video is going to be perfect for summer. It is all about shaving. This has basically come like a little mini series on my channel and it's kind of self-explanatory. I just share small like beauty related tips that are really easy to do. And this video is going to be a little bit longer just because I am including a DIY recipe at the end. So make sure you stay tuned for that. But I'm sure you guys are all curious what the tip is. Like I said, it is shaving related and how to get the closest shave for summer. Because in summer we're all definitely showing more skin, we're wearing shorts, dresses, skirts, whatever and our legs are showing a lot more definitely and everyone definitely wants really nice smooth supple glowing legs for summertime I know I definitely do so today's tip is just something that you do really quickly before shaving and it makes such a difference you get such a perfectly close smooth shave so I thought I would share it with you guys because I've been doing this for the past few years and it is a serious game changer and I am talking about exfoliating before you shave your legs and I'm sure some of you guys already do this and already kind of know that this is an important step but basically a few years ago when I was was working at Lush I remember I was talking to one of my co-workers I just tried one of the body scrubs from Lush and I was saying like oh my gosh I love using this on my legs in the shower after I shave and my co-worker was basically like hold up you have to try exfoliating before you shave your legs it will seriously change your life and she was totally right so now here I am telling you guys this tip as well and the reason this works so well is because if you aren't exfoliating regularly and if you have a layer of dead skin cells built up on your skin Basically when you take your razor, what happens is you're just sloughing off all that dead skin. I know this is gross, but you're sloughing that off and your razor isn't actually able to get right to the base of that hair. So your blades are going against all this dead skin and just usually getting the top little bit of the hair on your leg. So when you exfoliate and you remove that dead skin cell buildup and you're doing this regularly, the blades of your razor are able to just glide cleanly right against your skin and get as close to the base of the hair as possible, giving you the closest shave. So now every time before I shave my legs, I go ahead and really, really exfoliate really well with a physical exfoliant. I've tried just using like my bath poof to kind of exfoliate, but it's not the same. You do, I find, really need to go in with something that has like a granule to it and really work off that dead skin. And it takes a couple extra minutes in the shower, but it's really not that time consuming and the results are definitely worth it. Regular exfoliation also helps to brighten your skin and keep your skin from looking dull too. So it gives your legs like a nice kind of glow to them, which is awesome in summer as well. So yeah, that is my tip it is that simple and like I said I am including a DIY recipe which we will get into now I wanted to include this because I have been making this scrub since kind of the beginning of spring and I've been loving it so I figured I would share it with you guys too because I'm sure some of you guys will love it as well and I'm not going to take credit for this I did find it on Pinterest I will have the like original post link down below if you guys are interested in checking it out there. It is a whipped grapefruit and mint body scrub and I absolutely love it. I don't have any pre-made now. I'm just realizing I should have made it beforehand but I'm about to go make it right now after filming this. But it is whipped grapefruit and mint. It's so nice. It's seriously the perfect scrub for like spring and summer because the grapefruit and the mint in it are just so citrusy and fresh and it's really nice and like invigorating and uplifting especially if you're a morning showerer. Showerer? <laughs> I don't think that's a word but if you shower in the morning you will really love this it'll just really help to kind of wake you up and give you that extra little pick-me-up to get ready for your day and grapefruit also is really great because it has toning properties for the skin so it helps to brighten and grapefruit actually also helps with water retention and firming so great if you are concerned with cellulite at all since you are going to be using it on your legs so yeah if you are interested in learning how to make this scrub then just go ahead and keep watching like I said any scrub will work you don't have to go out and make your own but I just thought this would be fun to include but I mean, I don't always do like DIY scrubs. I do go out and buy like store-bought ones too and that works just as well. But yeah, let's go ahead and get started with the DIY body scrub. All right, so starting off with what you're going to need for the scrub, the first couple things that are going to act as our base are coconut oil and then just plain white sugar. The next thing is just one ripe grapefruit. And you will also need both grapefruit and peppermint essential oils. And this part is optional, but the original recipe also calls for beet juice, and this is funnily enough what is going to give it that grapefruit color. And since this is a whipped body scrub, you're also going to need an electric mixer. I'm just using my little handheld one, and you're also going to need something to store it in once we are done. So the first step is to just add half a cup of coconut oil into a large bowl. As you can kind of see here, I was struggling a little bit. The recipe calls for firmed coconut oil, but mine was a little bit too hard. It was fresh out of the fridge. So I'd recommend letting it soften up a little bit beforehand. 
And this calls for equal parts sugar and coconut oil, so I'm just also adding half a cup of white sugar. Then you're just going to mix these two together at a low speed with your electric mixer. And like I said, this will also be easier too if your coconut oil is a little bit softer, but we are adding liquid ingredients, so don't worry if it looks chunky like this at first. And then it is time for the grapefruit, and this body scrub actually has three different forms of grapefruit, so we're starting off just by zesting it. Then you're going to go ahead and slice it in half, and like I said, I've made this body scrub a few times and I've kind of played around with the quantities. The original one calls for one tablespoon of grapefruit juice, but I find I like adding more, so I just give it a generous squeeze. Then it is time for the peppermint essential oil. We're just adding 10 drops. It looks like I'm adding quite a bit more, but it's just the packaging. You have to kind of give it a good shake to get it out. And then following up with 25 drops of grapefruit essential oil as well. And it starts smelling so good at this point. And you can just finish it off there, but I am adding the beet juice as well, just one quarter teaspoon. And like I said, this is optional. It's just adding the color to your body scrub, but it does also have skincare benefits as well. And then we're just going to pull out the electric mixer again and start beating this all together until it just has a nice smooth whipped consistency. And then the final step is just to transfer it to your little container that you're going to be storing it in. And you can keep this refrigerated if you want to, but I find it does take away the nice whipped texture of it because the coconut oil like re-solidifies. Now all you have left to do is enjoy. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to let me know if you end up trying it out. And give this video a thumbs up and subscribe as well. And I will see you all in my next video. Bye guys.